How to Crochet, Picking Up Stitches for Borders. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Skissel, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in the size US8H. And a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their 100% Merino Lamb's Wool in the color Fuchsia. Sometimes your pattern is going to call for adding a border around the edge of your work. You'll often see this in a blanket to give it a nice finished looking edge. And while that can be pretty simple when you're doing it along the top or bottom where you have a pretty defined stitch to go working into, it's not always as easy to figure out when you're doing it along the side because you don't have those clean stitch edges to work with. So uh, the main part of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to pick up these stitches along the edge and uh, I'm also going to show you a couple other things about how to turn the corner and uh, how to carry your, or weave in your ends as you go. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is to turn your corner. Once you get to the last stitch in your row, you're going to uh, want to actually chain two. So we, we have one chain here already. I'm going to chain another one here and what that's going to do is give you a nice bend around the corner because if you tried to do it without adding any extra stitches you'd be stretching the yarn on the way around and it's just not going to look right so let me do it real quick like that and then if we go into another stitch this doesn't give you as nice of an edge here on the corner, it looks kind of like it's been trimmed off. But if we add two chains, it will give us kind of a corner. So we're gonna go back into that same stitch on the corner that we ended with in that row and do another single crochet. And then let's do another single crochet on the side here, Oops, split the stitch there, okay. So we can see on the corner there that we've got a much better edge. Okay, so now I've already started working into the side of these stitches here and as I'm going I'm going to be wrapping the yarn around our tails here and that will make it easier for weaving in your ends as you go. But the key to picking up your stitches along the side edge of your work is particularly when you're doing single crochet in your fabric is to skip every other row. So here we've got one row, two row three, four, and they look like little ridges here, but these are actually a set of stitches. So there's two rows there, which is kind of an easy way to tell, okay, this is one, two, three, four, five. These are the stitches I'm going to be trying to pick up as I go along. And so for most people, we're going to skip a row. So if we have 20 rows here, which I don't know if we do or not, but then we would only be doing 10 stitches across the edge. Now this may differ depending on how you tension your yarn and um, you know if you crochet really tightly or not um, but in general this is a pretty good rule. So we're just going to insert our hook skipping this row here into the next row and then I'm going to grab my yarn making sure that these loose tails here are in between. And then again, I'm working over the tails to do my single crochet. Now that one was kind of looser than I wanted it to be. One good method for doing this is to kind of split up your section. So if you've got, let's say, 40 stitches that you're supposed to be working is maybe do 10 first and see how your tension is. If you've got a nice 
laying flat edge that lays flat when you rest it on the ground um, or your table, then you can keep doing what you're doing. Otherwise, you might want to increase your frequency of stitches as you're going long. So now we've skipped another row. So here we're kind of in this row. So we're gonna skip this one and go into this here. And once you've worked your tails in for a few stitches, then they're, they're gonna be pretty secure so you can just skip over them. So we're gonna skip over this and go into here. And we're gonna grab our yarn and draw it through. Skip this one and go into this stitch. Okay, and then we'll skip this and go into the next stitch. Okay, then we're gonna work our corner. We'll work one, and then again, we're gonna chain two. And then back into that same corner stitch. Give us a nice corner edge. Okay, so now we've got a nice edge along the side here. It's a little bit tight, so uh, you know I might want to go back and redo this with an extra stitch along here, just fit one in, and that could should loosen it up enough to give it a nice edge that will lay flat. But otherwise, that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, the only difference will be if you're doing a row that says has like double crochets in every row, then you would do every single stitch um, along there because this is not going to stretch enough. So. That's how you pick up stitches for borders. Want more new stitch day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.